Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Reto Se Season 3 Episode 13 Reaction. And this is the final episode of this season. So the previous episode we were ultimately able to track down Joe or Tatsa was able to because in the end he didn't let anyone know that he figured out where he is and he's going to take care of him on his own as far as it, I could tell. Uh, but before that happened, a few other things happened. For example, Minoru got too sick and, uh, you know, Fujibashi asked Tatsuya to look at his scions to see what's going on. Tatsuya did see something, but he was very surprised and they didn't really tell us what he saw. So I'm guessing that's an answer that we'll get later, maybe in the next season or maybe in today's episode. Who knows? So that's one thing, you know, like a few other things is that, you know, after he had the battle against those guys, um, Tatsuya told everyone to go back to Japan. Obviously, Miyuki has her own work to do, you know, the student council job. And he tracked down the place, the headquarters, and tracked down from there, they, he tracked down where Joe is. And now he's going to go there to confront him, it seems. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Um, let us get started. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it whichever is your preference. And let's begin. <clears throat> okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, oh, he came back. I thought he was okay. I thought he was directly going to go. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, I think... I think he realized that his situation is very similar to Minoru's, maybe. That's why he was so shocked. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh. Wait. Okay, I need to come back to this place. After Oh yeah, okay. He was born from Right. How little it changed from Right. Okay, I need to go back to this place and read the family tree. I like I said, it confuses me extremely. I need to in the discussion section I'll do that. I'll come back to this section and look at the that family tree section.
the day before the competition okay hmm Hmm. Nice. Hmm. Right. Uh right. Damn, that's a long ass password. Hmm. Do have an idea. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yep, there you go. I don't like he said. But if he goes as Oh god. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like he's very strong and he can. Okay. Right. Oh, he's contacting Ichijo, yeah. Okay, he'll be a good, a very good, you know, like, ally in this situation. Oh. I've been sniffed out. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Right. Break in basically the fence. Yeah, he's a uh. 
Hmm. Yeah, he feels responsible, a little bit responsible, I guess. Okay. Wait, Minoru. Wait a minute. Oh, he's okay. Wait, so did he come here on his own or did he talk with Tasse about this? I don't think Tasse talked about this to him. He came on his own. Okay. Mm. Right. Right. We plan to drive off up from outside to the south. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you think they can do, yeah. Oh, wow, he's... Damn. Wait, so he's like, yeah. Bruh. Wait, that spider or whatever, yeah? <laughs> <There's... laughs> that is insane. Oh boy. Turning them into spheres, releasing into the atmosphere. Okay, that's why they're not exploding. I see. <laughs> okay, that's smart. You know, like that says this destroying them while he's taking out the. That's some huge guns. Oh my god. Hmm. Ah! All right. Nice. Now Tasha can use his <laughs> oh Whoa, what is that? Single needle of a bee
Mm. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. Yeah, he's just standing. Like, so yeah, he... <laughs> right. Well... I think this is the first time I'm seeing him so distressed. Hmm. Well, yeah. Right. That's why I didn't hit the the first. Okay. Well, it's not gonna work. What? Oh no, he no. Okay, wait a minute. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, so Tasha didn't know that Minoru would be here. Mino just stopped him for a moment so that Tatsuya can get him. There you go. Oh, Fumia's here. Damn! Oh! Uh, Ichijo's here as well. Damn. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, he dodged it. Was effective. Okay, then... Yeah. Oh, that's why he said, like, I won't let you, your death be in vain. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Wow. So, yeah. Champion. Oh! Whoa! The hell was that? No, he said like even if I die, I'll keep existing. I'd... Wait, so what was that? Okay, so he blew himself up. So what did he mean by the I'll keep existing? Was he talking about like his ideas, his like, you know, like 
his um you know what, what do you call it ideologies was he talking about that it'll keep existing was that what he meant by that hmm yeah Hmm. Okay, the thesis competition went well. Hmm. Yeah, I was wondering, like. If he's going to, but he is. <laughs> mm. Oh, here we go. These are all the Yotsuba like higher ups. Shibata Mashibashi. This time. Okay, they are they are more towards Tatsuya. One sided skills. Uh well he is not going to be happy about this. Oh, okay. So he's like Ah, uh, okay. He's taking this more okay. New Year's banquet, okay. So three more months, I think it was October, wasn't it? December now, okay. Maya's calling. Okay, what is that? Invitation for New Year's banquet, best regards. Right. Oh, that is it. Now, I wonder if, oh, you know what, let me just check if there has been any announcements. Um, so, like, I don't, obviously, I don't read the light novel, so I have heard that season two was, and I myself felt that season two was very, like, rushed, I think, you know, because, like, I've watched season one. Season one felt very natural, very well-paced. Season two, I re didn't really like it that much. You know, it felt a bit... Like 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 everyone like you know said it felt a bit rushed and even though I haven't read the light novel I could see you know like a little bit of difference in season two than season one But I've heard that in the very beginning I've heard season three You know when the first few episodes were coming out people were discussing on how season three is going in the correct direction again It, it, it slowed itself down again, and it's it's a lot better than season two now season three has ended I do wonder if they kept that same pace and you know if this is how the original source material went 
Yeah, so I personally, even though I haven't read the light novel, I felt everything was well paced, wasn't it? Like everything, you know, like everything kind of made sense. It was well executed, I think, as well. There were certain sections where, you know, like certain action sections which were quite nice. Um, the the theoretical part of this show, which is like maximum part of it, where you need to understand what's going on, this and that. That was also well executed in my opinion. And yeah, it was it was good. So as an anime only watcher, that's what I felt. Let me know uh you know, if there's any light novel readers here, uh whether it was you know it, it lived up to your expectations or not this season. Um and okay, you know what? Let me check. Uh season four, has it been announced? Uh let me see because i feel like it it must uh you know like we're having season three like obviously i doubt it's going to end now i'm sure there will be season four as well um so oh there's going to be a movie wait 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 oh okay a movie has been announced yotsuba succession arc which I'm guessing is going to be the whole New Year's banquet as we saw in the end. Okay, so this is like, um, I guess we had another movie back um, which, which kind of showed the past of Miyuki and Tatsuya. Uh, for, what was the name of the movie? Recollection something, I forgot the name. I don't know, I, I even reacted to that. So it's going to be, I guess, not like that. This is, I'm guessing this is like, this is like a sequel. This is not a prequel. So, okay, that's interesting. Um, and then after the movie, I'm guessing they'll probably continue with season four. Okay, that's right. Um, but since this is a movie, I feel like it'll be, it'll take a while. You know, um, like, because usually, even after movies come out, it takes at least six months for the Blu-ray to come out. Uh, you know, like, it hits the theater at, at the beginning. Then it takes at least six, more than six months sometimes for the Blu-ray to come out. And that is when it's available to everyone. Um, digitally and only then you know will every one of us who don't live in Japan will be able to watch it I think and there are exceptions obviously but you know most of the time it's like this um, so I'm assuming since there's still no release date for the movie I'm assuming the movie will probably happen at the end of this year or maybe the beginning of next year which would mean the blu-ray will probably come out six or seven months later which would mean it, it's like we have to wait like one year for it like like minimum one year for uh, like you know to watch the movie and then after that i'm guessing we're going to get season four or something like that um so yeah anyways um yeah i'm looking forward to the movie uh whenever it comes you know let's let's wait and see Okay, so that was today's episode. Now, today's episode was the episode where we confront Joe and uh, defeat him or, you know, like, technically didn't defeat him. He blew himself up. But as, as they said, like, you know, since it was Tatsuya and Ichijo who cornered him, it does mean that they took re revenge for Nakura, you know. And yeah, that is, that, like, that's what happened. So there's one thing that I am not really clear about which is you know in the end when joe was like even if i dis i even if i die i will still keep living or something like that he said now at first i thought he was talking about this literally but i'm assuming what he meant was that he was probably talking about his ideologies or ideas and stuff like that living on in everyone else you know the ones who were allied with him even though he himself died so he will die but like his whatever he you know like did up until now and his ideas his ideologies they'll pass on to everyone it'll keep living probably making someone take his place in the future like that's literally what happens you know like when someone who is a very influential person passes on they don't pass on their ideologies passes on to more, a lot of people and when that happens you'll always find that one or two people within those group who is going to embrace that ideology and become someone like them. You know, and become as influential in them and they'll literally be like the successor. 
So this is how it kind of passes on, you know, these type of things passes on from one generation to another. You know, so death isn't the end. Was that what he was talking about? You know, like in a more, um, you know, in a more, not in a, like a, like a literal way, but like a more, like a metaphorical way he was talking about it. That, oh, I'll die, but I'll live on in everyone else, something like that. That's, that's one thing that I have, uh, you know, like, because in the end, Tatsuya confirmed that he's dead. You know, so he, I doubt he was talking about, like, anything else. I'm, I'm, and that's why I'm assuming he was probably talking about him dying, but his ideals and his ideologies living on. Uh, and obviously, the, the guy he's working for, you know, that, that guy, I, I don't know his name. He is obviously still alive. He's still there. So, you know, he, he's con going to continue doing whatever they're doing. So, yeah, like, he might be dead, but they're... I guess whatever they're doing that will continue you know so i'm guessing he was some saying he was probably talking about something like that um other than that everything else was pretty easy to understand that there wasn't really much things you know uh like there's one thing that I've, i didn't understand at the moment but it made sense eventually is that part you know where um we like Tatsuya sees the, the the needle inside of him and Tatsuya was like oh your death won't go in vain I was so confused about that I was like wait what is he talking about I don't understand that but then later on when he uh, he he, he ca caught up to him and Tatsuya was like oh Nakura's blood needle is within you I was like oh so that's what he was talking about you know at first it didn't I didn't understand what he what was that you know but then it made sense and you know I was I was able to understand what he was talking about um, so basically, even though Nakura, you know, it seemed like Nakura's final, you know, like when he exploded himself using those needles, it seemed like that was in vain, but it wasn't actually. One of the blood needles stayed within him. And, you know, since it's literally blood within blood, you know, he couldn't probably, like, he, he probably didn't realize that was in him like a GPS tracker, you know. So yeah, which I guess it makes sense because, you know, um, as I say, like uh, hide a leaf within a forest or hide a tree within a forest. It was basically like that. The blood needle was literally inside his body, which is comprised of blood. So Tasha was able to track him because Nakura's um, like, you know, like emotion was so deeply etched into it that it became like visible to Tatsuya and he could track it down. That is why even though he used, a, what was it called, Ghost Walker? That ability to try to trick Tatsuya, Tatsuya could figure out where he is because, you know, like that, that blood needle was acting as a GPS. He could immediately tell which one was real and it helped out to take him out eventually. So Nakura, he didn't, you know, like he didn't die in vain. Um, and yeah, like he, his technique was very much crucial to the final battle and to the eventual downfall of Joe. Um, yeah, and I think like today was the final first episode where I saw him this panicked. I've never seen him this panicked before. Uh, this was the first episode that I, like he, the whole panicking start when he realized his plan is not going accordingly like he like like i can understand he's the type of guy who always has everything planned out and he's like oh and that's why he's so confident about everything and his plans are actually pretty pretty good you know it usually works out exactly how he plans it but minoru completely threw a wrench into the plan you know like that is the first time he realized like wait a minute this wasn't according to my plan i wasn't expecting this like minoru just standing there in the middle of the road and as soon as that happened everything went downhill like that one thing that he couldn't anticipate completely destroyed his plan and yeah and i feel like if minoru wasn't there he probably would have been able to i don't know what would have happened if Tatsa would be able to catch up with him or not but that like minoru being there definitely helped Tatsuya and ichijo a lot no, so that's what happened, um, and yeah, like it was. <laughs> that's when he started panicking, you know. Like he he starts sweating over there, and then he starts running, and then later on, when Ichijo comes in front of him, you know, like, and then Tasha comes in, and then he's realized like, oh god, I, this is not good. 
I, I wasn't expecting this, you know, yeah, but either way, yeah, we were able to stop him, and yeah, okay, um, one thing, like I said, I need to check this before, um, oh, another important, very, very important thing that was revealed here, um, the Minoru and uh, Fujibayashi are half siblings, which means that his father and uh, that is um what was his name makoto i think that was his name wasn't it minoru's father makoto kudo wasn't it correct me if i'm wrong he and as they said like the whole artificial insemination and his sister okay so here we go just a minute let me go to the family tree okay so minoru and Ms. fujibayashi are half siblings okay here we go so <sighs> Mako, yeah makoto that's his name makoto and makoto's younger sister makoto's younger sister so at the beginning you can see there's makoto's younger sister and there's someone else on the left kyoko is their daughter then they we have makoto and someone else minoru is their son then it changes to here you go so Makoto Oh, so Oh, the Okay, wait, I, I was making a mistake here. Okay, so um, I thought Makoto was both their father. No, Makoto's sister is both their mother. You know, so, okay, I see. Okay, so I'm guessing Makoto never got no that wouldn't make any sense if Mako i was going to say that I, I would i was going to say that Mako never got mad but then i was like how would that make sense because then you know like everyone doesn't know that they're half siblings then how would like you know like like yeah it would make no sense so i'm sure Mako has gotten married and everyone thinks like minoru is both of their child but or maybe maybe not i don't know you know what i don't know about that whole situation whatever the the main thing is that Makoto's sister is the mother for both Minoru and Kyoko, even though they're cousins. So that would make them obviously half siblings. And as they said, that it was artificial insemination. Makoto was a genetically engineered. Um, and oh, yeah, that would make sense because, you know, uh, wait a minute. Because, yeah, like. Makoto and Makoto's sisters, you know, they are siblings. That is why obviously Minoru is going to be the genetically engineered, like, you know, like, like, child. However, yeah, okay, you know what, it makes sense. Fujibayashi is completely, like, you know, like, okay. Like, it's completely separate because Fujibayashi is um, Makoto's younger sister and I'm guessing Fujibayashi's father, their child. So, Fujibayashi is completely fine. And that is why Makoto has so many problems, you know, he's so, you know, like his science situation is so dif dif different because of this. Both of them are siblings, that is why. Okay, yeah, that makes sense because at first I was like, okay, um, at first I thought like Makoto was like the father for both. But no, that's not the case. That, that wouldn't make any sense. Makoto's sister is the father for, uh, mother for both. Okay. So... After all, Fujibashi's mother is Minoru's father's biological sister. Okay, so here we go. Minoru is a genetically modified being. He was probably born from artificial insemination. So strictly uh, uh, speaking, they didn't conduct incest. But that doesn't change the fact that he's the child of biological siblings. And that is also the reason why, yeah, condition, Minoru's condition is an ill effect of incest. I can't say for sure. Problem is the imbalance in his cyan body. And physically he's healthy. Might have been a problem during the modification process. We can also rule out the possibility that it was due to his parents' genes being too similar to each other. We still know little about how genes can affect cyan body. There you go. Yeah, so they don't really know how much genes and genetic, like, you know, stuff, like, affect the science. So that is why, you know, that might be the reason for Minoru 
time imbalance. Um, right. Okay, there you go. So yeah, obviously he and Tatsya are not really the same in the same situation, but Tatsya being a genetically modified, you know, like uh, person, I guess their situations are kind of similar, but both of them have their own trouble with a few things here and there, and how both of them are in their own way geniuses. You know, both Tatsya and Minoru. Um, Right, so yeah, that's another, like, I, yeah, I needed to go and check that. Um, but yeah, okay, and that is why Tassel was so surprised seeing his scion imbalance and, you know. Okay, now... Right, now here's the thing. Um, I do wonder if he's going to tell, because Fujibashi asked him, like, can you take a look at his scion imbalance? I don't think he can say this to Fujibashi, can he? In no way can he do that. So I wonder what he told her. I'm sure she asked him that, oh, like, you know, what did you see? I wonder what he said. Maybe he said something like, oh, like, I couldn't figure out or something like that. Maybe he brushed it aside and didn't tell her. So, yeah. And this whole thing, um, Retsu knows about it. Nor, I'm guessing probably the higher ups know about it because Retsu is also the one who said something like, um, you know, that, that whole first part of this season with the whole... Um, parasite doll situation. Retsu was the one who was like, uh, like you know, who was trying to push, uh, you know, like, like, like you know, the, the uh, parasite dolls so that they can replace the magicians, so that a future like, like Minoru's, like you know, situation doesn't repeat. Which probably definitely shows that he knows about the whole situation. So I'm guessing probably a few of the higher ups, including Retsu, knows about this. And most of the other people doesn't know about this, you know. Um, for example, Fujibashi has no clue about this. Otherwise, why would he ask Tatsuya to look at his sign, you know, thing? So, yeah, stuff like this. Okay, uh, that was like, like another big information that we got today. And uh, yeah, and then obviously the fight, the battle with Joe. And, you know, we defeated him or, you know, he blew himself up yeah and then the f in the final section we get to see how maya was talking to the higher ups in the yosuba family and she was like all right like we'll talk to Tatsuya, let him come to the new year's banquet and uh, right and in the end you know maya contacts Tatsuya and miyuki and tells them to come i do wonder why miyuki was so like you know stressed out about it like um, I have no idea why you know because obviously as, as they say I'm, I'm guessing they're going to be talking about Tatsuya maybe she's concerned about the fact that uh, I don't know maybe it implies something that she she maybe she knows something that you know like we still don't know like like um, I don't know what's going to happen in the New Year's banquet like, like we saw, like, you know, they'll probably be talking about Tatsuya's capabilities and stuff. And, oh, I think they will be talking about um, um, Miyuki succeeding them. You know, like, being the successor of Maya. Because that's literally what she was talking about. Talking about. She was saying, like, Miyuki is going to be the leader in the future. And if she becomes the leader of the, in the future, Tatsuya is going to be by her side, helping her out. So that is how they will be able to keep Tatsuya within the family and not let him deflect to anywhere else. As long as Miyuki becomes the head. You know, that whole thing. And obviously the, the name of the movie itself kind of implies that as well. The name of the movie was Succession Arc, I think. So it's something like that. I'm guessing that's why Miyuki was like, you know, so stressed out about that situation. Anyways, um, yeah, that, that whole thing happened in the end. And that is where it ended. So there you go. Now one thing, I'm going to check this thing in the very end. You can see Miyuki is looking through the pictures. So wait, so Minoru got the prize, I'm guessing? Because I guess, like, you know, like, they, like, you know, obviously first I tried their best. But then Minoru came in and Minoru like gave that amazing speech and I'm assuming Minoru was able to, yeah, 
I think so because you know in the, in the picture you can see he's like holding like a certificate or something and everyone's clapping so I think yeah they they won I guess I don't know anyways um yeah and that's where it ended so that was today's episode great episode um and uh, yeah like let's wait for the movie which I'm not going to I'm not sure when it's going to come out it'll take a while probably uh so yeah it'll be a long wait but yeah let's let's wait and see and that was today's final the, that was the final episode of season three now let me talk about this episode scene by scene in the very first scene we get to see tasia coming back i actually thought Tasia was going to immediately go to confront joe but obviously he's not that um i guess you could say impulsive you know like some like in some animals we see some characters just <laughs> like jumping in on the whole thing like immediately as soon as they figure something out that's just not that you know hot-headed or impulsive he he knew what he had to do but he came back home first he came back home he uh, obviously he needed a little bit of time to prepare stuff and get some help from a few other allies for example he got his help from ichijo you know so he needed to do all of that so obviously he cannot go and confront Sho immediately so he had to make the plan so he come back came back talked to miyuki about the whole situation and uh, uh, M- Miyuki here asks Tatsuya about Minoru's situation. I, I discussed about this previously. So basically, M- Tatsuya is like, you want to hear this? And she's like, yeah. She's like, okay. And he tells them that Kyoko um, and uh, Minoru are half-siblings, which means Minoru's father... Um, no, Minoru's mother is also... Um, Fujibayashi, Kyoko Fujibayashi's mother, and they're, you know, like, like even though they're biological siblings, those uh, two, they're, you know, like, they're half-siblings, that, that whole thing he, he talked about, and he talks, that's her, talks about maybe that is why the scion imbalance is going on, and maybe, you know, that's what's happening, and we still don't know the relation between genetic, you know, like, things, and the relation between them to the scion imbalance, so... And maybe that's the reason that's why it's happening we don't have the proper answer to it but i'm assuming it's something like that and that is why you know like minoru is always sick and you know it's like that anyways um that whole thing happens after that we get to see on the previous day of the thesis competition they've all arrived there um and uh yeah that's just talking to um Fumia and Ayako and they have brought in like the equipment for Tatsuya you know like the, the bulletproof vest, tap proof vest, the, the motorbike that he'll be going on you know all that stuff and uh, yeah and they also got information where um, Jo is hiding he's hiding in the JDF uh, JGDF Uji second supply base you know, and Tatsuya immediately went and contacted with Kyoko and he was like, you know, we are cooperating, our, both our families are cooperating, so I would like an answer, can you please tell me? And she was like, okay, fine, he, she tells him and he, I'm guessing Tatsuya cross-checked, you know, whether information was correct and as soon as he did that, he was like, all right, you know what? Um, and you can see F- F- Kyoko was like, okay, Tatsuya, wait leave this to us and if you do this you're going to get involved in a bigger mess you know so don't and <laughs> Tassel just cut off the phone and he's like all right let's go and before that Tassel's like i'll need to contact someone else because you know i cannot just bar- barge in and do everything on my own i will need a little bit of help obviously um the um, kurobas they will be helping them out but it won't be enough so Tassel's like i'm going to contact another person so he contacts ichijo and uh, you know he um yeah asks him to come and help over there while all of this is happening we get to see a little bit of a scene with joe where he has is planning to just dip you know the the night on the night and he asks this guy uh, you know this this dude uh, what's his name um hatai captain hatai He's like, yeah, I'll have to go, unfortunately, you know, like, people are following me, and I need to get out of here. 
And Hatha was like, oh, like, you know, I would have liked to learn more about immortality from you. This and that, all that stuff, you know. And uh, so he's like, I'm going to be going away at night. So if you can please help me out with the, like, you know, vehicle and the transportation. And he's like, all right, sure. You know, I'll, you know like, I'll do, I'll do my best. So after that whole, uh, that little scene, we again go to Tatsuya's scene. Tatsuya is meeting up with Ichijo. And this is where Tatsuya is like, there, we're going over there, Uji second base, you know, the JGDF. So, will you help? At which, for a moment, uh, Ichijo was like, oh my god, this is like, you know, like, this is obviously some dangerous territory. They're literally getting involved with the military. And he's like, if they find out what's happening and they, they, they recognize me, my whole school's reputation is going to go down completely. And, you know, like the thesis competition is over. It's, it's just going to be gone completely. Like everything will just, you know, so he's like, it's a very risky situation. But obviously, as a member of the 10, uh, you know, like the, the 10, 10 head clans, um, he's like, I'll have to do my part. So he's like, no, let's do this. You know, like, it's fine. You know, as long as we don't get caught, I think it's okay. Um, which is true. Yeah. And you know what? Another thing, I doubt anyone, like, as we saw in the end, he, like, Joe literally was controlling everyone. So I'm sure n even if someone saw Tasuya and Ichijo and recognized them, they probably weren't in the right sense of mind to properly register the fact that, oh, this is these guys. Because they were all under control. Wasn't it? I doubt they it would have like they would have been able to recognize Ichijo or anyone else. Uh, I don't know. Maybe who knows. Either way, um, Ichijo's like, alright, let's do this. So while all of this is happening, Minoru is also here, and Minoru is also just standing on the path with, where Jo will be crossing. He's waiting there, like waiting to ambush him when he's going to come here, and he's just waiting there in the, in, on the on the middle of the road and i was like okay i do wonder if he, if tatsuya knows about it but then i was like i doubt tatsuya knows about it because you know i feel like tatsuya like and everyone else knows that he's probably since he's sick he's probably there at his homes you know like taking rest recuperating so nobody uh, except the few that brought him here i'm guessing knew that he was here he decided to come and help out tatsuya which really helped in the end as we saw he was able to stop joe from you know like and kind of was able to make sure that Tatsuya and Ichijo can catch up to him. Anyways, he's there waiting to ambush him. Um, right. Also, Fumia and Ayaka are ready with the Kurabas as well. The, the, those people, they're ready. And you can see Tatsuya is acting as a distraction, as a decoy. Not only that, yeah, Ichijo is there as well as we saw, you know, so, you know, like, and, and the Kurobas will be, like, positioned in certain entrances so that Joe cannot get away from there. And, uh, you know, like, the only entrance that is left is the, that way that we saw where, um, where Minoru was standing. So that's what's going on. So the whole distraction begins. So basically, what Tatsuya was doing is he was disintegrating the... Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Ayako here says, tells Fumia, that Fumia, like, go and, you know, like, help him out. Um, and uh, we have to make sure that this succeeds. Otherwise, Tatsuya's whole, um, you know, him doing this, acting as a scapegoat, acting as a decoy, because he knows he's the only one who could do something like this. Otherwise, that will all be in vain. Like, instead of, like, thinking that, oh, why is he the one who has to do stuff like this? Let's just make sure that what he's doing doesn't go in vain. Which is true, you know. Like, obviously, I'm sure, like, Ayako and Fumia probably feels, I don't know, like, very bad. That it's always him getting the end of the short stick. A short end of the stick and Tasha is fine with it because he knows he's someone who can easily overcome that and that's why you saw like Maya even did this before where Maya let uh, Fumia and Ayako be followed by that that thing I forgot that that artificial spirit or whatever that was and you know deliberately did that uh, so that you know like Tatsuya 
gets involved in this situation. Even though, as we see in the end, Maya also had another plan, another intention behind doing that. As we saw, Maya was doing all of this in a way so that he, she could tell everyone that, look at this, this was a test and Tasya succeeded. And so that he could convince, she could convince the other higher ups in the Yosubas. You know, that was the underlying impression of why Maya did that, as far as I could understand, why he made Tatsya go into the spotlight. Yeah, but still, you know, like Fumia and Ayako feels bad that they knew that that artificial spirit was following them and they still did that to Tatsya. And Tatsya, and they also feel bad for the fact that Tatsya knows what's happening. Tatsya knows that he's getting like forcefully dragged into the spotlight and he's fine with it because he knows he's strong enough to withstand all of that. You know, that is why Ayako and Fumia definitely feels bad because they genuinely respect Tasya and uh, genuinely likes him. But as Ayako says that we, instead of lamenting on the fact that Tasya has to take care of these like, you know, like unsavory jobs, let's just make sure that his effort doesn't go in vain. Like he's doing his part, you know, the only way we can show respect to him is by doing our part and making sure that whatever he did doesn't go in vain. And, you know, Fumia is all right. Like, yeah. Okay. So that was that. Um, and okay. So here's another thing. What? Well, okay. I'm going to, okay. That part comes later. I think I'll talk about that later. The part where we get to see Tatsu and Ichijo cooperating to like do that whole thing. Okay, before that, we get to see Jo is here standing and everyone's like panicking. So Jo is like controls them, like brainwashes them. And he's like, oh, you guys, like, you know, like thoroughly annihilate them, you know. And he kind of puts like a mental suggestion on them that unless and until they do that, it will be, you know, like it will be their failure, this and that. And they were like, yeah, we have to do this completely like, you know, like uh, brainwashed. So, yeah. Now, Joe takes this opportunity to get out from the back, you know, and uh, yeah, and while all of this was happening, okay, this is a part where Tasuya and we can, we see actually exactly what they're doing. So basically, Ichijo is vapor, as he's saying, I'm vaporizing the hydrogen absorbing liquid in the fuel. And using convergence type magic to separate the hydrogen gases, turning them into spears and release them, them into the atmosphere where there's no chance of it igniting. Okay, and then as soon as he does that, Tasa uses uh, you know his power to disintegrate and dismantle or whatever it's called that car. So that is why they, even though he's doing that, they're not exploding because Ichijo is literally taking out the hydrogen gas, making sure it doesn't get ignited. So that's a very uh, good collaborative effort, I guess you could say. And that's where Tasha was like, come on, do it quickly. And Ichijo was like, like, what are you talking about? This is like very difficult. <laughs> so, so he, Ta Ichijo has to do that and then only Tasha can do his part. And, and that is why, you know, like everything was going so smoothly. Anyways, um, then after that, you know, everyone starts shooting at them. Um, and you know, like, and then tanks come out as well. Good God. And, <laughs> and he does the same for the tanks as well. It just, uh, dismantles them. Okay. Then after that, they realize that Joe is running away with a car and Tatsuya realizes the needle is there. Like I said, at that part, I didn't understand what the hell that was, but later on, I realized that was Nakura's needle. And that is how Tasa was able to follow him and get, you know, go against him and properly overcome him. His, his ghost walker ability or whatever that is called. Um, so we get to see after that when Joe was going, like, you know, rushing away, Minu was just standing. And this is where he realizes that, oh no, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> and this is why he starts panicking for the first time. He's sweating. And Minoru is just there and just destroys the car. And yeah, Joe is like, God damn it. He may have hit bystanders and other cars, but he didn't even hesitate to blow up my car. I feel like, like he, the reason why he didn't hesitate is probably because 
he's that confident because he remember he literally said a few moments ago that i know what i'm doing you know like i have full faith on my deduction and i'm sure he had full faith on the fact that he wouldn't hurt anyone and that's how confident and how much of a genius he is i guess um so he tries to attack him but his parade doesn't let him do anything and uh, you know like and then he runs away into the forest joe and here minur's like i did my part now it's all up to you tasia after that um fumia comes in suddenly and gives him a punch um and then ichijo also comes in yeah and you can see joe was looking at the water but ichijo used eruption in the water <laughs> that's just like jumping into water before ichijo's family is ruptured yeah it's the same as uh, jumping into a pile of explosives and uh, he uses his ghost walker or whatever that is called to go against tasia try to trick him however tasia was able to properly stop him on his way he's like how do you why is my ghost walker walking on you and he's like oh um yeah it's actually because you have that needle nakra's needle of blood on you inside of you and he's like wait a minute from that day and he says that you know like a lot of emotions extra powerful emotion must have been poured into it at which he's like emotion like oh like i thought modern magic theory dispenses that as a factor at which he that he said like what exists exists what doesn't it doesn't so you know there's no need to argue against this you know um yeah in the end he's like oh so this is where it ends and he said you cannot capture me i'm going to even if i die i'm going to go on existing like like i said at first i thought he was talking about it in a literal sense i was like oh maybe he's going to destroy his i don't know his vessel and somehow he's going to survive but then i realized as i get to hear that say more that wasn't probably what he was telling as far as i could understand that was more in a i guess in a spiritual sense he was talking about like i'm going to exist within everyone even if i die like my ideology is my vision is going to continue you know on every, everyone that's how i'm going to continue existing even after i die maybe it's something like that he was talking about i'm not 100% sure either way he blows himself up bursts into flame and that's where everything ends later on she that's her talks to miyuki and tells them that everything is okay don't worry about it and then they, she and miyuki hugs after he comes back next day there was the thesis competition and uh, we get to see tatsuya talking to mayumi as well and mayumi is like thank you tatsuya you know like we like you know we got our revenge um then the thesis competition happens and this is where minoru comes in and everyone was surprised but you know everyone gave a very good like a round of applause and he did his job pretty damn well as you can see by looking at everyone and i'm assuming you know he won the whole thing as we saw in the end in the picture he was holding a certificate and after this this is where we get to see um maya talking to the higher ups in the yosuba family maya's like this was a test so this is how i proved to you guys that tasia is well worth the you know like like we like he he's with us and you know like he's very useful and his loyalty towards the job is impeccable purpose of this mission was to test tatsuya and he she says like and i'm sure you can see the result of it so uh, yeah i don't think you guys have any other problem with tatsuya at which um okay let me read the the so these are all the families head of the shibata family head of the mashiba family head of the shiba family um so they are all like Are they like branch families of the Yotsubas? I'm assuming that's the case. That's the thing. Wait, Shibata. Oh, is this? Wait, Shibata is also. A... Oh, I didn't know that. Or maybe I knew it. I forgot. This is this. Is this the same Shibata as like our? You know that girl. You know Shibata. I forgot her first name. Uh, the one who's with Mi- Mikihiko. Um, the glasses girl. Is this the same Shibata? Or is this some other? 
I don't know, like, like I said, it's been a long while I've seen season one. Even, even if they explained it there, I've probably forgotten. Um, okay. And then everyone's like, oh, yeah, 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 okay. As you say, it is true, he was able to do it. Like, they're not really, you can see, they're not really comfortable um, accepting the fact, but it's pretty obvious in front of their eyes. The result is pretty obvious. So they're kind of grumbling and everything. It's like, oh, this time he passed, this time. And then we have the other three, the head of the Mugura family, head of the Sukaba family, Shizuka family. There's two families, I think Mugura and Sukuba, both of them were a bit more, I guess you could say, a bit more um, accepting of Tatsya because this lady, old lady, was like, don't you think we should let go of our irrational prejudices? And the person beside her, she was also like, I agree. It's time we became more objective. So these two were like, oh, like, you know, you guys are just, you know, like, yeah, like, we should let, let go of this prejudice. That's why I'm saying these two seems a little bit more accepting of the fact. And then we have the other one beside him, them, who's like, oh, that Tasha Shiba has only one-sided skills. Okay, so and then they asked Kuroba and Kuroba. I was expecting Kuroba to be like fuming and like, like, and like, I don't know, like smoke coming out of his ears or something. But he was very calm about this. He was like, you know what? I wasn't able to do anything. So I'm in no place to talk about this, which is good because, you know, um, I guess, you know, his conversation with Hayam, that was his name, wasn't it? Hayama the butler who's with Maya. His conversation with him actually did work because back then he was completely fuming he was like ah that's yeah like you know like just completely and having that conversation with him i think he was able to calm down and properly think about it and realize that yeah you know what i'm just being petty at this point you know and and scared because that's the thing their pettiness comes from them being scared of tasia most of the pettiness of the other families it comes from them being scared about tasia you know that is why there's just so over analytical and just so unnecessarily i don't know like like this um so i guess kuroba as as he said he wasn't able to pr 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 prove any give any proper results in this mission so it's like i'm not in the place to talk so i'm not just going to say anything so i'm sorry um anyways maya was like everything's fine you know like like we'll talk about this you know let 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 the boy live his life for now you know, we'll talk about this in the New Year's banquet. You know, so <laughs> meeting dismissed. And uh, there you go. And then after that, we get to see Miyuki looking at those pictures and Tatsuya being called by Maya. And over there, Maya probably told Tatsuya to go to the, you know, the, the New Year's banquet. And Maya sent a letter to um, Miyuki talking about the New Year's banquet as well. And, the, and like I said, you can see Miyuki is very concerned about something. Um, invitation to the New Year's banquet, best because Maya Yosuba. So I'm assuming, like, obviously he, she knows that the New Year's banquet will probably have something to do her succeeding the family or something like that. So, I don't know. And I, I'm, I'm assuming she's, she has a lot of fear of the fact that she and Tasha might get separated. That's, why, that's also probably why she's very, like, stressed about that. But let's wait and see. Like, because I'm, it's pretty obvious that in no way will Maya let Tatsuya, like, out of, you know, like, out of sight. Because she, we saw this before, she has a complete plan on making Miyuki the family head. And she knows that if Miyuki becomes the family head, Tatsuya, being so much loyal to Miyuki, will never go against the Yosubas. Because Miyuki is literally the head. You know, so he'll never do that. And that is how, you know, like she plans on tying Tatsuya to the Yosuba family because without Miyuki, <laughs> Tatsuya would give no damn about the family. He's probably just going to leave and become a threat to them, which is what all the Yosuba mem family members, like in all the Yosuba like, you know, members, they fear about. That is the thing that they fear the most. You know, That's why they're so over analytical of Tatsuya and just completely nitpicking about him, trying to drive him out um, or, you know, like make his you know, like, life a hell. Uh, but we know that Maya's not going to let that happen. And to do that, she plans on making Yuki the family head so that Tatsuya never 
becomes disloyal to the Yotsubas. So I'm assuming Miki doesn't know that that plan, and Miki's probably fearing for the fact that she and Tashma might get separated or something. You know. So I don't know. Let's wait and see. It'll be a long wait though. Like I said, the movie will probably happen sometime next year, and it'll take a while for after the digital versions to come out as well. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that is it. That was my reaction to the final episode of season three of Mahaka Koko no Retose. Um, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. That is it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys um, in the next video. Whichever anime will be replacing this, you know, a new set of animes will be starting. Um, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.